Good day everybody, welcome back to another Affinity Composite tutorial. Today I'm going to combine all of the images on the screen here to create my Scottish warrior picture. We'll start off just with the picture of Loch Ness and we'll get rid of all these other pictures for now and we'll just start off with this picture here so i'll just stretch this picture all the way across just using my move tool and what i'm going to do is come up here to layer arrange and i want this picture flipped the other way now i want to remove the sky of this picture so what i'll do is come over here to my selection brush tool and just select the sky here so just quickly select the sky and I'm going to hit over here on refine and just refine the selection a little bit. Just those bits that it might have missed. And I'll just smooth that selection by one pixel and hit apply. Now I'm just going to hit delete on that picture and then command D to get rid of those marching ants. So the next picture that I want to bring in is I want to bring in my new sky. So I've got this picture here of the stormy sky. Make sure I'm on my move tool here and on my stormy sky. And we'll just make that a lot bigger all the way down. And the picture of Loch, Loch Ness is actually probably going to come up a bit higher probably about that high. Now I want to sort of match this Loch Ness picture with my sky. So what I'll do is come up here to my eyedropper and just pick a dark section of those clouds. I come over here to pixel and new fill layer and I'm going to clip that to my Loch Ness background here and change my blend mode to multiply. On that fill I'm going to change the opacity to 80%. Here we go 80 and the next picture that I'm going to bring in is the picture of this garden here, the garden stair. So we'll just open that one again back on our move tool. Make sure we clicked on that garden and we're going to make that a lot bigger as well. So we're going to stretch that all the way across and move that all the way down. Just so I can see this rock here. I want to be able to see that rock right in the corner there. That means we still have to bring our picture of Loch Ness up a little bit. So we'll click on our picture of Loch Ness and we'll bring that higher because we want to be able to see the water. So I also want these picture of this garden stairs to blend in as well. So since we've got that color already, that fill layer already done, we'll hit Command J. They'll move that fill up onto my garden stairs just to give it the same sort of color. The next picture that I'll turn on is the stone wall here. So back on my move tool up here, make sure on that stone wall and let's just stretch that all the way across as well. Bring that down right to the front and I'm also going to make a copy of that, command J. Just turn that one off and we'll just move that up here but leave it off at the moment. On this stone wall down the bottom we'll add a mask and we'll come over we'll activate our brush make sure that we're on a nice soft brush. We're going to be painting in black and where this rock is I've got my flow let's do our flow about 25 percent and where this rock is in the corner and I can see that if I just take my opacity down I'll be able to see that rock and some of that to the wall as well. We'll go back on our mask and let's just paint in that rock right in the front here. Make our brush a little bit smaller. Change over to white by hitting X on our keyboard and just make sure that little bit of wall going up to the rock is painted in. So that looks pretty good at the moment. We can always come back and have another look at it. Let's hit X on our keyboard again. Make our brush a little bit bigger and let's paint so it looks like this bush is in front of the wall as well, growing in front of the wall. Just a little bit there. About like that looks pretty good. Come back on our stone wall and turn up the opacity to 100% again. So we've just got sort of that wall and then we've got this rock in front creating a little bit of depth here. Let's just go back onto our mask and just fix that up a little bit. Make sure we're still in black. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's bring in another picture now. Let's bring in the picture. Let's just collapse all these first. Let's bring in that picture of the stone wall that we turned off. 
make sure we're clicked on it onto our move tool. Now we're just going to move that one now underneath the garden layer here. And we're just going to drop that down. And what I might do just on that garden wall, I might just add a mask as well. And just grab our brush again. And on that mask, we might just clean up this a little bit. And we might just get rid of that bush there and a little bit over here. So that's nice and cleaned up. What we'll do now is we'll bring in our Loch Ness Monster. So let's click on our Loch Ness Monster here, back on our Move tool, make sure we're on our Loch Ness Monster. And he's going behind that wall. I'm gonna make him quite big though. Yeah, about there, I think we'll have our Loch Ness Monster. And we'll grab that fill with a Command J we're going to add that to our Loch Ness Monster as well, just to blend that in a little bit more. What I'll do on my Loch Ness Monster here, on top of our Loch Ness Monster, let's add another layer and change it to Overlay on the Blend Modes. Got this nice yellow colour here that I'm going to pick. And holding my space bar down, I'll just move that down and then zoom in on his eyes. On our brushes, we'll pick a nice soft brush and activate our brush we'll make it a lot smaller we can zoom in a little bit more make sure we're on our pixel layer that's on overlay and i'm going to paint that yellow brush a little bit smaller I'm going to paint that yellow into my loch ness monster's eyes here and then just zoom out command zero to have a look at that what i might do as well is add another pixel layer i might just call that one eyes first so we don't get confused might just call this one blood and we'll put that layer on overlay so i'm going to go to my brushes and i'm going to pick my sprays and splatter brushes again and i'm going to zoom in again let's just Hold our space bar down and pull that down and then zoom right in again. I'll pick this brush, the watercolor modulating drops here. I'll come back on my layer, just make sure I'm on that layer. I'm gonna make that really small and I'm going to drop my opacity again to 25%. Just going to add maybe some of that redness just in here and on his tongue there. Let's have a look at that, command zero. Maybe we'll add a few little droplets just outside as well. Okay, let's bring in our Scottish warrior now. Back onto our move tool. We'll bring him down here. Make our warrior, our Scottish warrior, a little bit bigger now. Place him where we think he's going to go. I think a little bit bigger again. Down there, I'm going to move him over just so I can get a view of this tower. So I might just move my Loch Ness monster over a little bit as well and that can be a little bit bigger about there and you can see that I've made a mistake down here with the wall where I can now see our Scottish warriors foot through the wall here so let's fix that straight away let's make sure we're on that mask and make sure we're painting in white X on the keyboard and let's fix that up Okay, so now we can't see his feet through that wall. What we will do though, is we'll take that fill layer again and we'll hit Command J and that can come up to our Scottish Warrior as well. So we've got that color all blending in now. Now you can see our Scottish Warrior, his sword is sort of cut off. So what I might do on my Warrior here is add a mask to my Scottish Warrior, change to black and just Bring that so it looks like that sword is going into that bush there. So that's not too bad. We can hide that a little bit. Now on our Scottish Warrior, I'm going to add a curve. Clip that just to my Scottish Warrior and I'm going to bring him really, really light. About like that, nice and light. And on that curve, I'm going to go Command I and invert it. So I know I've got a soft brush. I'm on about 25. I'm still on my brush. What I'm going to do is hit X on my keyboard to get back to white. Small brush. And I'm going to add some light to this shield around the edge here. And some to my Scottish Warrior just down this side. Still got a little bit of light coming in on this side. I'll just drop the opacity to about 10 and you just blend that in. I'm going to do the same on my Loch Ness Monster. So we'll come and we'll add a curve, clip it to our monster. And again, let's make that really light. 
and also Command I to invert, just come down a little bit lower, back to 25%. And again, I'm just going to brush some of that light just on this side into his teeth and mouth here, and then just down the side here. There we go, Command Zero on our keyboard here. Just make that a little bit smaller so we can see the whole picture. Not really going to do too much more to this picture now. What we will do though is we'll go right click on our keyboard and merge visible. Make sure we're on our move tool here and I'm going to come over to my tone mapping this time. I'm going to click on tone mapping, click on detailed. I'll bring the tone compression right down and also the contrast. Not going to do too much on this, just the radius here, the refinement a little bit, and then another curve. And all I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to darken it a little bit, and just a tiny little bit of contrast there, and hit apply. So let's have a look before and after. So there you go everybody, that is my finished composite for my Scottish Warrior. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can head over to my Buy Me A Coffee site and you can support my channel there. And while you're there, you can download the Loch Ness Monster here and also my Scottish Warrior for absolutely free. So until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.